Hey everybody, John Abdo here again. Uh, I got a good response over my little presentation on DMSO, and uh, naturally I went back and rewatched it. It's like, oh, I could have said so many other things, or I could have said what I said differently, or, or what have you. But DMSO, it's kind of like a, a trick technique that allows you to get uh, nutrients and or in, in that seminar, anti-inflammatory or pain relieving elements into your body without ingesting them either orally or by injection because DMSO, uh, it penetrates the skin. So as I mentioned, we would crush aspirins. We, my teammates and myself would crush aspirin into a uh, uh, fine powder, put it on our skin, put DMSO over the top of that, and it just sucks it right in. So it, it delivers it right inside the tissues. What I didn't mention is that DMSO by itself is also good for wound healing. Again, I'm not a doctor, so please check with your doctor on this. Wound healing, whether it's a muscle or whatever, because a lot of toxic uh, buildup uh, happens around an injury. So when you put DMSO on there, it it kind of like dissolves everything and obviously you'll be excreting it through exhalation, perspiration, urination, defecation, metabolism. Uh, the technique that I'm going to show you today is something that may be common for a lot of people. Again, these are not endorsements for any of these products. This is called uh, Fat Fader and uh, uh, again, it's not an endorsement. I bought it at a uh, uh, store up in Venice, Aminophilin. So we're going from dimethyl sulfoxide to aminophilin. Actually, we're going to be combining them. Aminophilin is actually a skin tightening agent. Um, I heard about this through the modeling uh, business where models will put it under their eyes to reduce eye bags, you know, on their face to tighten up their face or whatever. So it tightens the skin. It removes edema or fluid retention in the skin. So what bodybuilders do and fitness people, including myself, because I've been on camera so many times with my shirt off, showing off my abs when I'm doing exercise videos or my invention, the Abdur or other programs, abdominal programs that I've promoted over the years. And it only works when your skin or your body fat levels are really low. So for those of you who are above 10, 12%, body fat. Don't even try it. These are very expensive. I don't think it's it's going to work. And it probably takes a couple weeks for it to set in. So if you have a like a photo shoot or a competition that you're going to be competing in, I would start it. And some of you are different. You may have different protocols. Those of you who are familiar with either one or a combination of both techniques, which I'll, I'll continue to explain here. Two weeks is what I usually go, maybe 10 days or whatever. So what you do, you take this, it's got caffeine in there as, as well. You take this and you put it in your hand or put it right on, on, your, on your abdomen where I want it to be affected the most to really sharpen up the abs. Now you're burning the candle from both ends. You're still eating really good. Uh, you're kicking up your metabolism. You're exercising uh, with more of a fat burning mode than a, a muscle building mode so to say. So, so you, you're in that phase. So it's a combination of everything, not just this isn't just the well, put this on and you're going to be ready for a world-class photo shoot. So when you put this on, uh, it, it's really hard to rub in. So it really works your arms and your shoulders. You're rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. Push it deep into the dermal pores and you will uh, get it inside the body and then it starts to have its reduction effects. Now, where DMSO comes in, you probably already got this figured out already. Where DMSO comes in, now all of a sudden you put DMSO on top of this after you rub this in, just put a layer of DMSO and it really brings it inside the tissue. So the, the fat cell reduction, it's not burning fat, it's reducing the size of the fat cell, more so reducing the moisture or the edema or the fluid retention and it really tightens you up. I've used it on my deltoids because I get this stuff all over my hands and I'll put it on my deltoids just to kind of like wipe off. I don't want to waste any of it. I still got some there. So my deltoids get really striated as well. I mean, I'll, I'll rub it in other areas, but for me, uh, it was just the uh, abdominals. And then another trick is obviously these neoprene waist wraps, these neoprene waist wraps, when you put the neoprene against skin, it can't breathe. So it perspires a lot. So that's a that's another trick. I use these when I'm, you know, when I'm hiking and climbing, just as back support and stuff like that. But if it's hot out, I'll put it 
um, neoprene or the rubber to the skin, and man, you sweat profusely. So you literally can lose like an inch, inch and a half uh, just in that one workout just by uh, fluid reduction. It's not fat reduction, but it, it contributes to fat reduction because if you're doing fat burning exercise and eating a fat burning diet, then all these aids here just are part of the, of the whole mix. So aminophilin on the skin with DMSO over the top of that to help it as even a greater delivering agent will help to reduce the edema and shrink the size of the fat cells. I'm John Abdo, thanks for watching. We'll catch up again soon.